Greetings, cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from what is eventually going to become the machine room in this Let's Play Minecraft Feed the Beast series. In the previous episode, we were working on this bad boy over here, the industrial electrolyzer. And in this episode, we are going to be working on creating what is known as an advanced machine block. Why do we need advanced machine blocks? I hear you guys say, well, we need advanced machine blocks to create an industrial blast furnace. And this is basically a dirt outline of what an industrial blast furnace looks like. It is a very advanced machine. The industrial blast furnace itself sits over here and is powered by a glass fiber cable from the MFE. And then this structure over here is made out of machine casings. And it is, it is within these machine casings that the titanium gets smelted down into ingots um, so this is where our industrial blast furnace is going to sit eventually guys but we have a lot of work to do before we can even make an industrial blast furnace so in this episode guys we are going to be working on the machines required to make advanced machine blocks but before we get to that guys i want to take you a, a, on a quick tour of what's been going on around the cyber labs over the last few days or so i've improved the aesthetics of the battery room slightly as you can see i've added a couple of strips here just to make it a little bit better i've added a second and hopper on top of the macerator so we now have eight slots that we can queue ores for maceration so that's looking pretty sweet if we head into the power plant room i've added a couple of um, more geothermal lava energy generators so a brother and sister for squidward over here and the reason i did that was because the electrolyzer was sucking serious juice out of the butthole of, of our mfe and i had to connect up these three geothermal generators into the mfe to give it enough power but i didn't have enough um, cabling to be able to do it uh, to be able to connect everything up so i've just come back from a bit of a strip mine where i've collected a few more uh, diamonds to complete our task but guys what I've also done here in the furnace room is completed the roof of the auto furnace chambers. Some of you guys were saying that it, you know you wanted the roof of this completed. It was looking a little bit messy, and I've done that now. It looks really awesome. I mean, you can hardly ever see it, but you know it's, it's just nice to know that our machines are now fully encased inside these um, these marble covers, which is really freaking sweet. So, guys, that is what has been going around the cyber labs um, over the last few days. I've been putting a little bit of a few hours into getting this place looking sweet, and guys, I have. Put, been putting a butt ton of research into making the industrial blast furnace and let's quickly pop over to our engineering logbook and guys this over here on this page is what we need to make an industrial blast furnace we need 177 refined iron ingots 126 rubber 101 copper ingots 48 coal dust 46 redstone 28 tin ingots 10 iron ingots two furnaces and 14 glass fiber cables to be able to connect the mfe in the battery room to the blast furnace in the machine room but guys before we can even think about making an industrial furnace we have to make advanced machine blocks so there are a couple of machines that we need to build before we can make an advanced machine block. Number one, we need to make a compressor because we need to make carbon plates. And number two, we need to make a rolling machine so that we can make mixed metal ingots. We need mixed metal ingots to make advanced alloy. What the hell am I talking about, guys? Well, let me show you. Why don't we pull up the recipe for the industrial blast furnace? Um, and this will all begin to make sense to you guys. So the industrial blast furnace requires two induction furnaces and an advanced machine block in the middle surrounded by cupro nickel heating coils and electrical circuits. Now, when you start digging deeper into these recipes, you, you'll see why we need to make a compressor and a rolling machine. So let's look at the induction furnace. The induction furnace requires all of these things, but also an advanced machine block. Now, this is what we're making today, guys, advanced machine blocks. As you can see, an advanced machine block is just a level up from your, your normal uh, machine block, which we make with refined iron. But as you can see, we need two advanced alloys and we need two carbon plates to make an advanced machine block. Looking complex. I know guys but stick with me trust me it's all gonna start making sense so to make an advanced alloy all we need is mixed metal ingots and to make mixed met, uh, in a compressor of course we need to compress mixed metal ingots in a compressor and to make mixed metal ingots all we need is refined iron bronze and tin in a rolling machine so as you can see 
the machines that we need to get this done is a rolling machine and a compressor. If we go back to the advanced machine block recipe and have a look what we need to make carbon plates, well that's really easy. All we need to do is go to a compressor and put raw carbon mesh into a compressor. Now to get raw carbon mesh is really basic. All we need is two raw carbon fibers. To get raw carbon fibers, all we gotta do is combine four coal dust and of course coal dust is created by macerating coal. So guys, absolutely basic stuff, really. All we got to do is make a rolling machine and a compressor, and that is going to allow us to make advanced machine blocks, which will allow us to make um, an induction furnace and uh, the industrial blast furnace. So I think today, if we look at my inventory now, this is the recipes that we are going to be working with. We are making um, a rolling machine, which requires a crafting table, pistons and iron. We are going to be making... Um, some more glass fiber cables which requires diamond silver and glass and we are going to be making a compressor which requires stone electric circuits and refined iron now we are also going to be making some paint brushes <laughs> you guys must be wondering what the hell man red dogs lost it he's just going to paint the cyber labs yellow or something but have a look at what we are going to be making here guys we're going to be making a painter now what the hell is a painter well it's all going to start to make a lot more sense once we get down into the cyber labs maintenance level when we start to wire up some of our machines but before we get to that guys let's get cracking on crafting the machines that we require for this episode so number one let's make the rolling machine so let's have a look at the recipe for a rolling machine it's really basic really simple stuff uh, pistons surrounding a crafting table surrounded by iron. I really love this recipe. It's like, um, you know, you put something on the crafting table, then the pistons sort of s squash it into a <laughs> squash it into a much smaller block, I guess. It's like a sort of car recycling unit, I guess. And of course, the rolling machine is what we need to make those mixed metal ingots. We're going to be pressing tin, uh, bronze, and copper uh, and refined iron together to make a single ingot out of three ingots. So that's our rolling machine done. Now all we got to do is make our um, compressor. Now that's a really, really basic, really simple recipe. And uh, if we look at it, it's just stone, electrical circuit, and a machine block. So that's very easy to make. All we got to do is make our machine block. Man, we make a lot of these machine blocks in this series. Um, so there's our machine block. Let's just get that refined iron out of there. And now all it is, is a machine block with an electrical circuit underneath it and surrounded by stone. So there we go. That is our compressor, man. So easy to make. There we go. Now what we got to do is make our paint brushes. And um, the paint brushes are also very simple to make. So let's go to the painter recipe. And man, you guys are going to love this, man. Seriously. Um, the painter just requires some iron and some different colored wool. So um, we've got some iron like this, and then we've going to put our wool in like that. And that makes a painter. We want to make the painter blue. So there is a blue painter, and it's all going to make sense why we need this painter in a moment, guys. What we also need to do is make our glass fiber cables so that we can wire the MFE all the way to the machine room. So that's really easy to do. Silver, diamonds, glass, kaplam in the belly. Let's get those beautiful glass fiber cables made. And um, there we go, nicely done. Now there's one more thing that we need to make uh, before we head over to the machine room, guys, and that is an engine to power the rolling machine. Now the rolling machine um, requires uh, an engine to work so what we're going to do because we are running glass fiber cables from the mfe to the machine room why don't we make an electric motor that way we don't have to use um, electric engine that that way we don't have to use coal or or, or, um, or combustion or anything like that we can actually just take the power straight from the glass fiber cables to make an electrical engine so as you can see an electrical engine really simple recipe tin gears piston glass and tin so i um, just going to make the tin gears that we need over here there's our iron gears we'll make two tin gears i do believe it looks something like this with tin at the top and there we go an electrical engine remember we need the electrical engine to run the rolling machine okay excellent guys um, and this is in my inventory because we were going to make an LV transformer, but we don't actually need that anymore. So that is cool. So guys, we've got what we need for today's episode. Um, why don't we head over to the machine room and get this jazz installed where we want it to be installed. And then we can start talking about how the, the, the hell this, all of this stuff works. <laughs> okay. So first up guys, let's install our compressor 
right about here. And oh, I, the, the reason, the re man, I'm such an idiot. I was actually supposed to make an LV transformer because the compressor um, requires 32 units of, of energy. And um, obviously the MFE is giving out 128 units. So remember guys, if your machine gets too much power into its butthole, it explodes. So um, <laughs> that is the reason I needed to make that LV transformer so that we can transform the energy that we're gonna be pumping into this compressor from um, the MFE into a low voltage um, form of, elect of electrical power. So there we go, LV transformer installed. Now what we gotta do is run our fiber from um, the MFE all the way over here. As you can see, I've already sort of made the line that we need to use over here. And um, there is the, the LV transformer and let's run the cabling along here just like this. And now guys, what we need to do is get this cable connected up to the MFE without it connecting up to this cable. So let me show you what I mean, right? If we connect these cables like this, as you can see, all of these cables start to connect. So the way that we separate this cable from this cable is by using painters. So if we use this painter to change the color of this cable to blue, as you can see, it actually changes the color of the cable um, from this sort of glass color to blue. And then if we change the color of our painter and then change the color of the other cable, the cables will actually separate, which is absolutely amazing and a really awesome way to uh, separate cables. So now we're gonna change our painter all right, Cyberdogs, we are back. I have made a fresh painter. I mean, obviously, we can't just change the color of a painter once it's been freaking dyed. I mean, seriously. Uh, but I've made a fresh painter. Remember, all you need is iron ingots and some wool. And I'm going to make this painter green. Now, let's head back down into the Cyber Labs maintenance level. And you guys are going to be so freaking amazed by this, man. Well, I mean, those, those of you guys who know how to do this won't care. But for those of you who don't know, check it out. We're now going to change the color of this cable to green. And as you can see, it separates itself from this cable. So now we are not losing um, energy in between the connections over here the you know squidward is directing his energy straight into the butthole of the mfe and we are taking the energy that we need out of the mfe via this green cable into the machine room powering our new uh, compressor unit so that is awesome paintbrushes for the win um, we're going to be able to use paintbrushes to keep our glass fiber cables uh, really well managed also which i think is a bonus so our compressor is now ready to rock and roll. Why do we need a compressor again, guys? Well, we need to make some carbon mesh um, and we need to make some carbon plates, basically. And to get to carbon plates, we need to do uh, some work with coal dust. So I've just macerated some coal. I've got a stack of 64 coal dust over here. So let's head back to the compressor and get busy, getting busy dealing with what we need here. So let's get back to uh, um, the industrial blast furnace recipe so in the industrial blast furnace recipe we need this advanced machine block to make an advanced machine block we need this carbon plate to make the carbon plate we need raw carbon mesh to make raw carbon mesh we need raw carbon fiber to make raw carbon fiber we need coal dust so that is what we're doing guys let us get busy making some of this jazz shall we so here is the raw carbon fiber so i reckon we make um just make some of that. Let's make 12 of those. Um, and then we turn the raw carbon fiber into raw carbon mesh. So we've got six raw carbon mesh. And now we just got to compress this stuff into carbon plates. So that's excellent. So the, the raw carbon mesh is now being compressed into raw carbon plates. That is amazing. Now, next step is to install the rolling machine. All right, guys, the rolling machine is now installed. That means we can put our electrical engine up in here. And as you can see, the electrical engine has connected itself to the rolling machine. Now what we got to do is um, get a lever over here and of course connect the electrical engine up to our power supply. So let's get the cabling running like this and up into the butthole of that electrical engine. Excellent work. Now what we need to do is get a lever to the back of that ele electrical engine. The electrical engine is exactly like a redstone engine, except it requires electricity to run and it's way more powerful. So uh, it's, a, it's a really cool engine actually. I really love the look of it too. I think it looks really sweet. So let's get a lever into the back of that and that is gonna start powering our rolling machine. Um, our compressor is working away here, compressing those um, 
carbon plates for us. There we go, bam, done. Okay, six carbon plates in the belly. Now, why do we need the rolling machine? Well, we are trying to make um, some, let's have a look, some mixed metal ingots. And to make mixed metal ingots, all you need is refined iron, bronze, and tin. So that's really easy to make. Let's head over to the auto furnace room where all of our ingots should be waiting for us. And let's get some of those mixed metal ingots produced. So here's our tin. Here is our uh, uh, refined iron. And here is our uh, copper that we need to make bronze. So how do we make bronze, guys? Well, that's really easy. All you got to do is put the tin there and surround it by um, copper like that. And as you can see, that makes some bronze for us. So let's make sort of, um, I don't know, 12 bronze, I guess. And then what we need to do is take this bronze along with some tin and some um, refined iron. And let's head over to the rolling table where we can now compress these ingots together. Imagine you are making a delicious, tasty and very crunchy metal cake. <laughs> um, okay, so bronze in the middle. That's the filling. Refined iron on the top and tin ingots on the bottom that is going to compress for us some mixed metal ingots and of course once we have the mixed metal ingots we can then make our advanced alloys um, let's have one last look at what an advanced alloy looks like and that is what it looks like i mean it's literally just going to come out of the compressor just like that there is our mi mixed metal ingots what we're going to have to do is take our mixed metal ingots over here to the compressor and stick the mixed metal ingots in the compressor and that is going to compress them into advanced alloys there you go so really simple guys um i well i hope that wasn't too complicated but what we needed to do was make carbon plates and we needed um the compressor to make carbon plates and we needed to make advanced alloys and we also needed the compressor to make advanced alloys but we needed a rolling machine to create um, these mixed metal ingots so um, these are the two machines you need before you can get to an industrial blast furnace, but both of them are not really expensive at all, as you can see, um, and they both work really quickly, really efficiently, and there are our advanced alloys. We obviously need six of these um, to complete three advanced machine blocks, so let's you know carry on uh, on the production line here. It looks like <laughs> this engine seems to be running okay, but is our MFE being drained quite heavily now? Not really. The power doesn't seem to be going down at all there. Um, it just looks like this rolling machine does quite a strange cycle. Um, we've got one more mixed metal ingot to make there. Let's add our two more mixed metal ingots to the compressor. And uh, that is our carbon plates and our advi advanced alloys done, guys. I tell you what, I'm going to complain this bad boy. And once this compressor is done making our advanced alloys, I'm going to bring you back and we can finish off our advanced machine blocks. Compliant. All right, sub it, diggity dogs. I am back, carbon plate in hand, and I am so freaking excited, man. Let's head over to the project table and and finish off our advanced machine blocks once and for freaking all. Oh my goodness, this has been a very hectic episode of crafting, man. But it's been really, really sweet. So what we need to do is make three um, normal machine blocks. There we go. And all we're doing now is upgrading these bad boys into advanced machine blocks using our advanced alloys like that and our carbon fiber plates like or our carbon plates like that and we now have three advanced machine blocks oh man that is epic high five cyber dogs all right excellent so that that brings us one step closer to making the industrial blast furnace guys the advanced machine blocks were the most complicated part of the industrial blast furnace um, recipe so in the next episode we are going to be be able to make the industrial blast furnace and that means we're going to be able to Get, finally, finally turn our titanium dust into titanium ingots. Um, and of course, we need those titanium ingots to make a diamond mining drill as a part of the recipe for the quarry. But guys, before I leave you, I just wanted to come over here and show you how much smelting we've done over here. It's really amazing. And let's head over to the... Man, I am starving. Mm, I need a tater up in the belly after this episode, man. Damn, my, my brain is completely fried. Uh, but I, I hope you guys managed to follow along on those recipes and it didn't make uh, it did make quite you know I hope it made enough sense to you guys but guys check how much maceration has happened iron tin gold iron iron 
bauxite and silver. So I just wanted to pick up these bits of dust and I just wanted to get um, the auto furnace room a blazing before we say goodbye. I really love it when um, every single furnace is, is fired up. It looks really awesome. I wanted you guys to see that um, and enjoy it along with me. Check it out, man. So freaking sweet. Bye. -bye. Fired up, man. The furnace room is doing its job, man. That is looking absolutely sweet. Check that out. But guys, that is the end of this episode. Three advanced machine blocks made. Next episode, we are making an industrial blast furnace, my friends. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode as much as I've enjoyed playing it. And if you have, you smack that freaking like button, man. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you've just joined us from somewhere on the interbubs, welcome to the Cyberdog Pack. And uh, may you stay for many, many months and many, many years. Guys, this has been Rendog playing Minecraft Feed the Beast, the Minecraft edition. And I cannot wait to see you in the next episode. Goodbye, my friends.